Hello there students. This is part 4 of my lecture series on microelectronics. This video focuses on logic gates. In most modern computers, logic gates are built using transistors combined with other electrical components like resistors and diodes. Those are all wired together to make sure that they transform the inputs in the way we expect. How are logic gates made physically? A logic gate is a microchip or in a microchip is made up of a specific arrangement of transistors. For modern microchips, the transistors are of the kind called metal oxide semiconductor fixed effect transistor, also known as MOSFET. And the semiconductor used is silicon. So a logic gate is an electronic component that acts as a building block for digital circuits. They are used to carry out logical operations on single or multiple binary inputs. Many of its applications include a push button lock, a light activated burglar alarm, a safety thermostat or an automatic watering system. In this video, I'll be discussing only about this basic examples of logic gates, the AND gate, the OR gate, the NOR gate, the NOT gate, the NAND gate, and the XOR gate. They say there are only um, actually four basic types of logic gates, the AND, the OR, the NOT, and the XOR. The NAND and the NOR are already considered combined logic gates. If the input or output terminal of a logic gate has a positive potential, it is said to be at logic 1 or of high voltage. Inputs or outputs at zero potential are at logic 0, meaning low voltage. The way in which a logic gate works is described by means of a logic or truth table. A truth table gives the logic state of the output for all the possible different logic states of the inputs. Our first and the most uh, simple type of gate is the NOT gate, also known as the inverter. This is the simplest gate, as shown in this truth table, if the input is at logic 1, the output is at logic 0. And if the input is at logic 0, the output is at logic 1. So, the NOT gate inverts the input. This is the logic diagram of a NOT gate or an inverter. Okay. Terminal A is the input terminal and terminal C is the output terminal. Notice that there is, in the symbol, there is a small circle after that triangular symbol. 
all right so always uh, look for that symbol because it means uh, that you are talking about a not gate or an inverter there is also what you call a logic expression and for a not gate this is uh, how the logic expression is written a with a bar above the symbol a equals c but this is read as not a equals c The second basic logic gate is called an AND gate. So the AND gate has two inputs labeled input A and input B. The output is at logic 1 only if both inputs are at logic 1. Alright? So According to our truth table for the AND gate, the output will be of high voltage if and only if both the input A and input B are of high voltages or if both inputs A and B are of logic 1. So, the uh, logic uh, diagram for an AND gate is this symbol. It's, it is like a big or capital letter D with the two input terminals input A and input B and the output is represented by output C. The logic expression is written as Input A, that small that dot represents uh, that input A will be ANDed with in, input B, then produces an output C. But this logic expression is read or should be read as A and B equals C, or you may also say a is ANDed to B equals C. The third basic logic gate is what we call an OR gate. As shown in this truth table for an OR gate, the output of an OR gate is at logic 1, meaning high voltage, if both or either of the two inputs is at logic 1, right? If both inputs A and B are of logic 1 or either input A or input B is at logic 1, that's the only uh, conditions for the output C to be at logic 1 or at high voltage. The logic uh, diagram for an OR gate is as uh, shown. So, you will notice that uh, for OR gate with two inputs A and B or two terminal inputs A and B and an output terminal C all right uh, the the shape of that symbol resembles that of uh, the head of a fish all right so there is a distinct uh, difference between the symbol for an OR gate and an AND gate. Alright, so 
always recognize uh, the symbol for an or gate similar to the head of a fish. Now, for its logic expression, it is A plus B equals C, but it must be read as A or B equals C. The fourth basic logic gate is known as an exclusive OR gate. As shown in the truth table for an exclusive OR gate, right, the output is at logic 1. Right? If only one of the inputs is at logic 1. Right? Take note of this conditions right in red if both inputs are at logic one such as here the output is not at logic one it is at logic zero all right so uh, i hope you won't uh, get confused in distinguishing an or gate a simple or gate and an exclusive or gate because in an ordinary or gate okay, this condition where the two inputs are at logic one the output must be at logic one but here in an exclusive or gate when two when uh, the two inputs are of logic one the output is at logic zero so that is the main difference between the two uh, gates, the OR gate and the exclusive OR gate. Its uh, logic diagram is also similar to an OR gate except for the fact all right, that the, uh, the tail end of that symbol all right, has a double curve. Okay. There is an additional curve, all right, near the uh, input terminals, whereas for an ordinary OR gate, there is only one curve. Okay. For its logic expression, A plus B equals C, but there is a circle, all right, drawn around the plus sign and how is this read it should be read as a not or b equals c all right so the circle simply represents uh, the word not or a not or b equals c We now have question number one. The NAND gate shown in this diagram is made by placing a NOT gate after an AN gate. So it is an AN NOT gate. Okay. The NOT gate inverts the logic output of the AN gate. Okay. Uh, look at the uh, symbol or diagram for a NAND gate. There are two inputs. Terminals A and B are the inputs. And then the output is labeled here as output C or terminal C. Notice that there is a circle, right? There is a circle uh, to the right attached to the big letter D. And that is what makes a NAND gate, the symbol for a NAND gate, different. Okay, that is the distinguishing mark of an AND gate symbol as compared to a AND gate. Right? Because actually that dot there represents uh, the symbol for a NOT gate. Okay, it is an AND NOT gate, meaning 
a combination of an AND gate and a NOT gate. Alright? But the triangular symbol for a NOT gate is no longer shown. Instead, we just uh, re uh, represent the NOT gate with that circular symbol. Alright? Attached to the symbol of an AND gate. So the question is, which output column in the truth table below is correct for an AND gate? Okay? So the truth table... There are two inputs, A and B. All the four possible conditions are given, meaning uh, if A is 0, B is 0, what is C? If A is 0, B is 1, what is C? If A is 1 and B is 0, what is the output C? And if both A and B are 0, what is the output C? Alright, so you're given four choices. C, D, E, and F. All right. So, uh, our answer, we say that the output for an AND gate is high if both or either of the inputs is low. What does that mean? So, we expect okay, the output for an AND gate to be high. All right. If both or either of the inputs is low, so in our first condition, um, both inputs A and B are low or at logic zero. So in the AND gate, that is supposed to be zero, all right? Or well, that that has an output of zero. So we invert it. In other words, the expected output must be logic one. And there are two choices with that uh, state, choice D and choice E. Which between the two is the best answer? Let's move on. If either of the inputs is at logic zero, all right, we should have a high output. Again, uh, looking at uh, the two choices, it looks like uh, choice D no longer satisfies that rule, alright? If either of the inputs is low, we should expect, alright? We should expect the output to be at logic 1. And that is true for option E. In other words, our best answer, therefore, must be column E, alright? Column E. The output for an AND gate is high if both or either of the inputs is low. Alright? If both inputs are high, notice that the output must be equal to uh, logic 0. Now, the uh, logical expression for an AND gate is given like this. Alright? A with a dot B is the expression for an AND gate, but there is a bar above the symbol of the inputs, all right? Then equated to Z, output C. This is read as not A and B equals C. Question number two. The NOR gate, whose diagram is shown below, can be made by putting a NOT gate after an OR gate. So an OR gate is an OR NOT gate. Right? Before we uh, read the question. An ordinary OR gate has that symbol. Right? which resembles the head of a fish, all right? But an OR gate or an OR NOT gate, notice that there is a circle, okay, at the right end of the OR uh, gate symbol attached to it, all right? Which connects the output terminal C, all right? 
So this is the symbol for a NOR gate. Question is, which statement about NOR gate is correct? All right. Its output is high, letter A, if both or any of the inputs is high, letter B, if only one of the inputs is high, letter C, only if both inputs are low, or letter D, only if both inputs are high. All right, so what's the answer? Our answer As shown here in this truth table, all right, if the input A is 0 as well as the input B is 0, then the output is at logic 1, all right? So there is no uh, output at logic 1 for any other combination such as A0, B1, C is 0. If A is 1, B is 0, then C is 0. If A is 1 and B is 1, C is still 0. So there is only one condition for the output of an NOR gate to be of high voltage. And that is if both inputs are low. Therefore, our answer, all right, our answer for this question is letter C only if both inputs are low all right now the logic expression for a NOR gate is written as a plus B but there is a bar above the input symbols and this is read as not a or B equals C Here is question number three. Work out the truth table for the logic circuit below, which shows a logic gate system. All right? Question is find the logic state at the point D, which is the output of this OR gate, as well as the output E. Output E is the output for this AND gate. So there are two gates, the OR gate and the AND gate. There are three input terminals. Okay, Terminal A and Terminal B are the inputs to the OR gate. And Terminal Input C is the terminal for one of the terminals for the AND gate. Alright. So what we want are... Uh, the results or the logic states at the point D, which is the output for the OR gate, as well as the output for the AND gate. Alright, so first, we will lay down all the conditions for the three inputs. Here they are. Okay. A is 0, B is 0, C is 0. What do you think is... The output D. Alright, so in determining the output D, all we need to uh, do is what is the result of having these logic states for inputs A and B in an OR gate. Alright, so we first look at inputs A and B, then fill up the corresponding uh, logic states. For the output D right and then after filling up this uh, fourth column in the truth table then that would be uh, one of the inputs for the AND gate and since uh, the inputs in the terminal C are all given then we can just uh, combine Alright, uh, the two inputs for the AND gate, 
input C and input D. If input C is added to input D, then what will be the output E? Alright? So that's it. So we first fill up uh, column D. Alright? These are the results of combining inputs A and B in an OR gate. Alright, so if A is 0, B is 0, then we say D is 0. Alright? If A is 0, B is 1. Or if A is 0 and B is 1. Or uh, if A is the one 0, B is 0. Then uh, the output in D will be at logic 1. Likewise, if both inputs A and B are at logic 1, then logic uh, output D will be at logic 1 as well. Alright? How about now that we know the uh, logic states at input D? This is now become or this now becomes the input for the AND gate. So combining input D with input C, right? So when C is added to D, what will be the result in output E? Alright, our answer our answers are there you go. So if C is zero D is 0, of course, E is 0. So, uh, the only, the only uh, logic state that is at logic 1 in the output terminal E is when both C and D are at logic 1, this one here, as well as this condition, when both C and D are high voltage or at logic one and there there's another one one two there are three conditions where the logic state at output e will be at logic one All right so that completes our answers for question number three This is now our last question, question number four. Work out a truth table for the following logic circuit. So just like in question three, this one is also a logic gate system. It consists of two AND gates. This one is an AND gate. That's another one AND gate. This is an OR gate. And this is a NOT gate or an inverter. All right. So... Uh, the two inputs, input A and input B, are as shown. Uh, one of the inputs to the AND gate is actually input B. Uh, this, these two wires, okay, here, this one, and the one coming from uh, input B, are not physically in contact. All right, they are not, they are not directly or physically in contact. So, uh, for the OR gate, one of the inputs is also input A, all right? And then, uh, for, the, for the NOT gate, the only input for the NOT gate is uh, terminal C, which happens to be the output for this AND gate. And likewise, uh, the output G is in fact the same as the output C. Right, one of the inputs for this AND gate is the output of the OR gate, terminal D. So terminals D and E are the inputs to this uh, second AND gate. And the final output, one of the final outputs is terminal F. All right, so uh, we also uh, need to fill up okay, truth table uh, for the different 
outputs such as output C, output E, output D, output G, and output F. Alright? First, by laying down all the conditions for the two inputs, A and B. Something like this. Alright? So, since there are only two inputs, basically, A and B, we expect that there will be four combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Alright? So, we already filled up uh, the output C, D, and E as well. Let's just check. Alright? Uh, for output C, since it's an AND gate, alright? So, of course, if A is 0, B is 0, then C is 0. That's correct. If A is 0, B is 1, then still C is 0. Or if A is 1, B is 0, C is still 0. Only if both inputs A and B are logic 1, where output C is at logic 1. Alright, so uh, for output C, okay, we just check this is correct. For output D, it's now an OR gate, alright? So, 0, 0, that means 0, 0, 1, alright, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, alright. So, this is also checked. Now, for output C, I mean output E, alright? Output E is the output of the NOT gate. In other words, the input is a terminal C. What happens is the relationship between input C and output E is that they are just in output is just the uh, the reverse or the inverse sorry it's the inverse of input C so all we need to do is uh, invert the result in column C okay for column E so 0 is 1 0 is 1 0 1 1 is 0 there we go we have completed all the outputs C D and E all right. So the next thing is, of course, uh, between output G and F, it's easy to figure out what the logic states for output G because it's just the same as logic output C. All right. Whatever you have here for output C will be the same for output G. But for F, you have to combine output E. All right. These are the logic states and uh, input D. Alright? So if input D is added all right, to input E, what would be the corresponding output uh, state at F? The answers are there you go. So let's check the uh, states for F. 0, 1 is 0, 1, 1 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 is 0. All right. And for G, this must be the same as in C. All right. So everything has been checked. Okay. We just answered question number 4. And that ends our video tutorial for this part of the series. All right. So, coming very soon, we'll still be about uh, logic gates, okay, that will be part 5. But we will be uh, talking about applications of logic gates, right? So, see you, hope to hear from you also, and uh, likewise, Okay, uh, please try to view all the other uh, video tutorials of similar content. Thank you very much for now.